So this one, the next artist, bears the name of the top 10 names in America, Muhammad Tall. <laughs> he has a long list of like achievements in the like in his name, right? Baltimore Youth Poet Laureate 2017. <laughs> Champion of another poet, Grand Poetry Slam. He currently, which this is for me my, my favorite, right? Because what is an artist who doesn't give back? So currently he's creating spaces for youth in Baltimore, for middle school youth in Baltimore, where they can develop their voices and create safe spaces where they can have their voices heard. That in and of itself makes him a champion in my book. Give it up for Muhammad Tal. This Muslim ain't no apologist. So don't seek me for an apology. I'm on the west side of Baltimore, parlaying with apologies. We all writers. With arthritis that offs writers. Leave them stuck in comatose. Your pens ain't coming close to the parchment. My department departs to men. My words make me Midas. The pen might just make me king. So I'm licking. I guess the gang is here. Come on, take a seat. Take a seat. Relax. Uh, my name is Muhammad Tal. Um, like Sister Aisha said, uh, oh, okay. Uh, my name is Muhammad Tal. Uh, you guys got to bear with me a little bit. I have a, a slight cold. Um, like Sister Aisha said, I've, I've been doing poetry for a long time, and I've been able to, to accomplish a lot through poetry. Uh, but my greatest accomplishment in life is... You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You good? Okay, all right. Thank you. Um, my greatest accomplishment in life uh, has been uh, being the son of my mother. Um, I lost my mother to cancer in uh, March of uh, 2018. Um, in April of 2019, I was able to release, release this book titled Too Broke to Die. Um, it's a collection of poetry I've been writing for over two and a half years. Um, and I wanted to share like one or two poems from it. Uh, the first poem in the book is titled Aisha. It's titled After My Mother. And here it goes. Yeah, I got you. A face like the golden sun resting atop the mountain's shoulders. Like Broadway stages, they house the drama. Oh, mama. The girl got sunshine in between her smile. When she walks the dandelion's convergent song, am I worth singing about? Oh, mama. I'm a wide awake nightmare, suffering the guilt survivors get. I fought with you, for you. Ain't no future left in me. I've been left to the world. You've been introduced to the world after. You passed, but I'm here after. The last steps to fade from your grave were mine. Steps so slow and precise. That night I cried like the day I was born. For death to touch me, I was not prepared. I had buried you far too many times in my head that the day it happened, nothing felt real. I miss you every day. I cry my nights to sunrise. Oh, Allah, wipe my eyes and forgive me for this crippling grief. But we suffer not for not. Always for something. Always moving towards something. Oh, mama. I pray the heavens treat you as kindly as we did. Five kids. It ain't, easy leaving, it ain't easy to leave behind so much of what you love. But we love you, mama. I find honor in you being the womb that nursed me. I was wounded, but your mercy. Lord, have mercy. Oh, mama. I can't help but cry when you enter my mind. You were mine, but you were always God's. We always belong to God first. God, I know you know that I'm hurt. I'm so hurt. It all hurts. My heart, my soul, my spirit, I feel it. Mama, you laugh, I hear it. God stays invisible. It's pitiful how critical I've been of myself. I've seen it, the way he moves people and speaks through their emotions. Ain't no commotion in the kingdom of the king. All hail the king, mama. All hail the king. 
Thank you. It's squad over this next one. Thank you, guys. I got the squad with me, you know what I'm saying? Gang, gang. We out here. Uh, it's funny that they're here because this next night, no, this next poem I'm about to uh, perform is titled King. Uh, I wrote it um, when I was in high school, and I wrote it based on the youth of Baltimore um, and what they did to inspire me. So if anybody in here watches Naruto, uh, in Naruto, gang, gang, we out here. <laughs> Uh, in Naruto, the king is referred to as he or she that possesses the will of fire, and that is the youth. So, this is dedicated to my squad. <laughs> Don't you know they're praying on your downfall, king? Don't you know that Moses is coming for you, king? Don't you know that I've seen magicians turn servants, staffs turn serpents, pharaohs go preserved, and prophets? Go unheard, king. So tell me, what's the word, king? Because I've seen man take golden calf for God. And I've seen God rain terror on man for forgetting who God is. King? And God is. King? I've seen hollow hearts search for peace on empty prayer rugs. So I suggest you go find one. Because soon, everybody will want a piece of you until there ain't no peace in you, and then they end up peacing you. King, look what they did to Martin Luther. King, they will tell you, we love you, then Mandela, your spirit, rip you of your heart, but you have Winnie for backbone, you have Betty for backbone, you have Coretta for backbone, so stand strong. King, because they will try to apartheid your apostle. Claim you as their equal, yet view you as hostile. They will shoot you on sight. King, any sight, ting of your black frame will be fright. Ning, this is why the caged bird still sings. King, but you, you ain't caged bird. You, you more like albatross, king. They, they keep trying to shoot you down, king. And when they shoot you down, king, they wear you around their necks. King, these mariners ain't got no respect. King, they make crown from thorns until you rule your kingdom. Because they think the king's dumb. That's why I teach my sons, get it, king? Because if you don't, they will guillotine your manhood, separate you from your mans and your hood, but your hood is kingdom come. Tell them people that the king is here, and I plan on raising my seeds, planting ghetto prophets, proposing prophecies, and rewriting policy, teaching future kings to love their struggle. But you, you oak tree to the rest of these saps, you? You the leaf king. I see in your eyes you want to leave king, but don't forget who you leaving king. Don't forget the horror. Tell our story like you Stephen King. Stop letting them appropriate our life here. Stop letting them recreate our nightmares. Somebody tell Iggy the Jigaboo Snow Bunny it ain't funny. Because I got homies on deathbeds on their last leg trying to remember when enough is enough. Now Blondie trying to play tough but ain't utter a word when Tamir Rice lost his wings in the streets. You see, everybody want to act black until another black body is left laying in the streets. But acting black and being black are two different things, but I see it in your eyes. You just want to be king. And for that, I'll stand beside you. Thank you. So this poem, uh, this second poem I'm going to share from my book is titled, uh, Papa Said. Lead them white girls be, that's what Papa said. Papa said the feds watching, swivel necks throughout my department. My department consists of Huey P's and Freddie G's. You know Freddie G's. Freddie G's is dead men and dead systems. Killing niggas is God's mission. Cops killing my Freddy G's without God's permission. A bullet against a nigga is quick submission. That's what Papa said. His Papa's Papa used to boogie down the disco. The disco turned Nabisco. He turned working man. A working man working against the system. With God's permission. They started calling each other gods. With God's permission. Our Huey P's so dear to me. Dear feds, they kill Fred. 
We ain't forget. That's what Papa said. They'll shoot you point blank in your blanket. Who gave the bullies bullets? Weak men with triggers gon' pull it. Leave them devils be. The world bears the burden of the serpent. We will bear the burden of our deeds. Indeed, that's what Papa said. Thank you. She like, that was cool, that was all right. You know what I'm saying, it was all right. All right, uh, this last poem I'm gonna do before I get out of your way uh, is titled Invisible Cage. Um, it was inspired by a Che Guevara quote, um, uh, analysis of capitalism, in which he states that within ca capitalism creates this uh, perception that you can pull yourself up by your, bootstraps, by your bootstraps and achieve anything, when in reality, all of your opportunities have already been predetermined uh, before you ever got here. Um, yeah, so this is that piece. <laughs> Listen to my heart go, boom, bap, boom, bap, boom, bap. God made it do that. God made it do that. God made it do that. Do that. Do that. Boom, bap, boom, bap, boom, bap. Capitalism wants to put an end to that. That's God in me. Because to them, God is wealth. But God himself ain't never been dollar bill green. I've seen politicians baptized in false dreams. But I've been graced with sight keen enough to see past the facade and recognize God, because I've been graced with the spirit of Fidel, ready to castrate my ghetto with the Castro and my falsetto, wage and war against minimum wage, with the rage of Fela Kuti in a Kufi, witnessing the bloody aftermath capitalism leaves behind. And when you're left behind, the machine says you're fine. And then it takes your struggle and it tries to refine. Like sugar, it's a domino effect. God bless how we resurrect, then take our bones and add to the shrine. How divine death must be. That's what the poor man, who used to be the floor man, before he was a full man, before blacks were whole man, he knew he was a whole man. He needs somebody to hold man. They held him down at whole man. Square. Cops never cared. So today he got to hold hands and pray like Shay. Guevara fighting terror. Saddam's mom reading the Quran for me. Some say dying while fighting should be an honor to me. But them people ain't really down for the cause. Because if they could, they put me down for the cause. Just because. Then they'll ask Malcolm, how come? And he'll say with a grin like Martin, Muhammad should have known that the marksmen already marked him. Men who speak against the invisible cage are marked men. The invisible hand left Karl Marx with marks around his neck. Asphyxiated flesh fills cotton fills. I feel filled with cotton. How this white man keep me picking on myself? See, I might have caught 10 if I never caught torn to the boast of the Gold Coast. Kwame and Krumah removing the tumor. Eurocentric temptress attempted to make black men their own prison for profit. Not all our profits in prison. Mandela's medallion keeps my smile living, even though they tried to annex my chest. So I make sure that I'm always Teflon vested, Cornell West kid, came from the West Side, Living in the West End, Mouth Smith and West End, gun but the government. Tell them that I'm mental. Tell them that I'm meant to. This poem right here was made to dismantle the invisible cage. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. All right, uh, once again, uh, thank you guys so much for having me. It's an honor to be able to present my book uh, in front of you. I brought a few copies in the back. Um, it would mean a lot if you could support me, but it would mean even more if you could support the other dope artists that are in here, like Marjan, Sadia, Tarek. Um, these are people that I hold dear in my heart, um, and I want to see them win even, even more than I want to see myself win. Uh, you can follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, uh, at Fresh Cut Mo. Thank you guys again.